Are we on? We're live. We're live. Did you know? Did you know? Okay. You coming? I am. We're Do live we already. We are? Yes, we are. Yay! Okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Sorry. I'm like, so I we are on baby close. time, so five o'clock. <laughs> I'm surprised we actually like got here like actually on time. So, all right. To introduce ourselves for anybody who hadn't seen, you know, the creation of us season two, um, I'm Kristen, this is my wife Heather, and this is our beautiful baby Freya Loren, and she's about six months old, so we've kind of been... It's crazy that it's like, been six months at this yeah, point. Yeah, and we've been out of, like, the only good world for six months, which feels a little weird, so that's why we kind of wanted to, you know, take everybody's mind off of the quarantine and hop oh, yeah. on and see if we could make some... This is yours. You can't throw that. That's distracting. <laughs> Here, take this. But yeah, it's been crazy with go. like this whole quarantine going on. We've been quarantined at this point for... This is day 26 for us. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been for you guys. I, I, you know, there are families out there that, you know, are working still. So we just want to give a shout out to all the workers, the medical workers. First anyone, responders. Yeah. Anyone who is, yeah, an essential worker right now. Like our family and our thoughts and our prayers are with you guys. And we love you and thank you from the bottom of our hearts, especially yeah. being new parents. Like you guys are the people who protect us. So we just wanted to first and foremost say thank you for that before we dive into talking about ourselves. <laughs> and solely that being it. Yeah. So we've been yeah. here for 26 days. Well, actually, it's been way longer than that because technically it's almost like we've been on maternity leave for six months as it is on top of that. Yeah, it's so. true. So I'm trying to think, why don't we start from the beginning? Okay. So we started with Only Good TV um, and we filmed, you know, the second season of The Creation of Us. Um, and we started that back, I, I was just maybe two months pregnant. Yeah. I think. It was yeah. either two or three months pregnant, and we went through every single stage <laughs> from... From you actually getting pregnant. Yeah. Us, like... No, yeah. wait. Back far. Oh, yeah, back far. Our love that. story. Sorry, yeah. Then us, us getting, getting married, pregnant. Yeah. Then, you know, the uh, 30, 60, 90 celebration between me, my mom, my grandmother. Yeah. Um, our gender reveal. Um, what other episodes are there? Then... You know, oh, getting the dogs. We, yeah. I, for those who don't know, we have three bulldogs, and we have a rescue cat named Teddy who's actually been with Sitting us. Sitting in the window right now. Yeah, and he's, he's been with us for a year now, yeah, right? Yeah, it's his adoption anniversary tomorrow, so it's really exciting. So that was another episode was getting everybody ready to be with the babies, which, just to update you, yeah, yes. the dogs are absolutely, <laughs> like, in love with her. So that's wonderful. That's more than we could have. They're there saying go. hello. Yeah, that's more than we could have ever imagined. And then the last two episodes, you know, we're the nursery, everything building up. And then the last one, if you guys haven't seen it, you guys really should tune in because that's her actual, like, announcement video when, you know, she was first home from the hospital. She was just a little blob, and now she's growing so big. It's crazy. Yeah. It really is. It's, so, it's just amazing, like, how to watch her. And, you know, I guess one positive part of the quarantine if there is any is that we've been able to be home longer yeah I mean with she's, her. <laughs> she's been able to be home with both of us for what almost mom? seven months now yeah at this point it is it's crazy we've been playing and learning and learning her and just watching her grow for the last six months it's been crazy are you okay yeah that's really you know do you want to come out yeah. of here baby time <laughs> everyone baby time there you go so, yeah, so I think the way that, you know, this whole COVID-19 has really just affected our family through, like, via separation. We yeah. haven't seen our families, and I can't even tell you how long. It's been super, super sad um, just because she is growing, like you said. I'm going to yeah. scoot up a little bit She's more. She's growing like a weed. She hasn't seen her grandparents. She hasn't seen aunts, uncles. Would you like this? Mmm, an apple pop. Here you go. You take on this. For two seconds. Yes, it is. It's been crazy. We've been trying to see our family members through FaceTime, Zoom, just texting in general. It's just, it's it's been a strain just because, you know, we want her to be a little more socialized with friends and family. Yeah. And when, when Kristen gave birth, we were smack in the middle of 
flu season. A flu season, and, and then it turned into COVID nineteen yeah. season. So and say thank you for for giving the nice compliment on my outfit. Say thank you <laughs> again, everybody. This is Freya Loren. If you haven't gotten a chance to meet her, now you do. She's officially on the gram and Lion Kinging right now. Yes, yeah, she's doing so great. <laughs> but yeah, that's really how it's affected us and our Freya, family, yeah. and our family, and that's. <laughs> Yep. Sad in itself, you know. So. We just did little ladies half birthday <laughs> shoot ourselves here at home the other day. Yeah, we did because she because yeah, she's sick. Yeah, we we decided Bless to make you. her a half birthday cake, which we didn't realize that since we've been home, we've probably gone through so much in the house that mm-hmm. we didn't Food-wise. even have that much to make Yay. a cake. We ended up making a gluten free cake with oat flour because <laughs> that's all we had. Um, and then it got everywhere. And then it ended up everywhere, all over her room. I don't know why. I yeah. thought that was a good idea. Yeah. But, but other than that, <laughs> she I had mean, a good time. She did. <laughs> and actually, I was like better with it than you were. Yeah. But other than that, we've actually to be keeping busy. We've been doing a lot of home renovations. We've been painting, like redoing the bathrooms, building her a Montessori style playroom down in the basement. So bye, Jim. Hello, playroom. Because. That's what happens when you're oh, a parent. Yeah. <laughs> Things just change. The whole house is changing now. It really is. It's so crazy. We've had all of her toys move in, and then her already start to go through not even <laughs> using <laughs> certain toys and getting too big for them. Like, the milestone she's up to now, like, she sits up by herself for the most part. Yeah, she does. Um, alone. Sometimes wave, she, you wave know. to everybody. Say hi, wobbles. Frey. <laughs> Say hi, Frey. Hi. Right, we're, Say hello. We're learning to roll over still. Yes, because we are very, very lazy. And I think that's our fault. But yeah, but other than that, that's really what we've been doing, you know, during the quarantine, just trying to keep social distancing, trying to... Exactly. Right, I feel like we're on a deserted island, and it's just the three of us, but at least we're at home. Oh, say hi. (laughs) Say hello. Say hi back. We've been trying to go out on as many walks as possible when it's warm out and when it's sunny. Um, Trying to take the dogs with us, too. (laughs) out on walks so we're all feeling slightly displaced in general though i agree with you it's super funny when here Frey, can you can you look at yourself again oh almost <laughs> but you're right she does she does that in the mirror too <laughs> she likes to see herself all of a sudden she's like who is that baby in that mirror she's beautiful like she like feels herself so hard it's so funny <laughs> right, do you love yourself that's good these are great qualities yeah. yes um, in one of our episodes, we are getting the dogs ready for her arrival right. because yeah. we were a little nervous with, you know, how they were going to react. <laughs> They're used to being our fur babies. There's three of them. You know, how, yeah. how was the dynamic going to be once this new baby was here? And if, if you watch that episode, you can see exactly what we did to try and get them ready, which was... Um, <laughs> Look at these thighs. It was kind of a zoo. <laughs> <That's> my favorite. <laughs> it was. It was a zoo. But you know what? They surprised us. Yeah. They really did. Like, yeah. Missy guards... The ba- actually all of them guarded her at one point yeah. but then they kind of found their place and it just it was this is ca- missy's baby she just yeah. allows us to take care of and her for the chaos that it usually is here it really did like calm down a little bit especially when we started bringing the dogs on walks with us hello everyone say hello say hello <laughs> she's like i can't see that far but i will pretend <laughs> no look look at yourself you're so beautiful. <laughs> her cheeks are huge and yes. her head is huge. Yes. Say hello to everybody that's joined and hello to, again to everybody who's been here the Wait. whole time. Like I said, this is, you know, a, our first segment of, you know, Friday with the Fizzinos. Yep. You know, we're going to see if we can keep you guys happy, especially because Only Good TV is just such a wonderful source of entertainment and oh, happiness, yeah. especially in a time like this. So oh, yeah. even if it's not us, make sure you guys like tune in and see just, you know, every other like piece of content that they have because it's just all of it is just it put just, the smile it's nice on your face. It's nice and heartwarming, yeah. <laughs> it's it good stuff. It um, definitely is. Do you have any tips for new moms? Oh my God. Get yeah. a papoose. Yeah, She's wear like your baby. She's like the happiest in the papoose, always. We love you guys, too. But yeah, wear your baby. That's probably... Wear your baby. No, I'm serious. Wearing your baby is like is just a really amazing way to connect with them. They feel your heartbeat constantly. You can even do skin on skin, you know, in a papoose. I have a baby Bajorn, but a lot of people have, like, the physical wraps. I don't know how to use that. She's, never a, could she's fi- too big for it, I feel Never like could figure it out. too big forever. Yes. Let's see, how long have you been married now? We have been married now for two and a half years. Yep, it's going to be three years on September 30th. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, we might be in the house again. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, kidding, I'm no, kidding. No, no, no. I can't handle no, that. No, we, yeah, so we've been married two and a half years. But we've been together seven. 
and we have been new moms for six months. Yeah. <laughs> so that's... It's been a wild ride. She's really jumping in. I'm like, this. my arms are burning, so I hope you know we sure, love you all. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's... You know, wear your baby, and then just utilize... Um, technology like we had the snoo which is a bassinet that basically mocks wounds womb sounds and mm-hmm. moves the baby yes. like this while she sleeps um we have the owlet um oh, sock, sock and, and camera and camera so utilize those and swaddles are amazing oh, oh yeah hello ashley <laughs> say hello say hi Ann ashley <laughs> hello Ann ashley <laughs> let's see do you uh yes we did go through sleep regression and oh yeah that's been um, so fun I think the advice that I could honestly give you is, one, be patient with your baby. Yep. Um, wean them the right way. Like, if she's, like, my Freya. Well, I were Freya. I was going to be like, my baby. Freya's my emo- baby. No, she's a motion baby. So just wean them accordingly. Like, if they have, like, motion, then, you know, make sure that you're putting a, the weaning setting on and then put them into the crib. And get a pet. Like, we have a swaddle that has, um, that it's weighted. What is it called? Nested bean? Yeah, it's by. Uh, She's like jumping. It's everywhere. called the the Zen Sack by yeah. Nested Bean. So, so it, it's like a little egg that's on the top of the swaddle here. Yeah. So it kind of mimics, um, what like 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 a a, a, a human hand yeah. almost like to comfort them and stuff. Yes. And it is. It's it's nice. It works really well. Hi guys. Sleep training wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. For a few days we were, you know, putting her in her crib to sleep. She was sleeping basically all night through the night, but we were um sleeping, sleeping on the floor. On the floor in her and in room. the I was in the chair, Heather was on the floor. Yep. It's so, terrified. Just trust your instincts really and you know what there's there's gonna be a ma- like a million and five theories of what you should be doing. You just have to trust yourself. If you wanna co sleep, co sleep. But just remember just to be safe and you know, follow your baby's yeah. footsteps. And if they're crying, they want to be with you. We're very, very, very big on, I'm sorry, like not letting your baby cry it out because yep. they need to be with you. So that's the biggest piece of advice I think that, you know, works for us as parents. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, I feel like there are tons of different ideas and, you know, resources that all, you know, new parents have and they talk about, but you kind of have to go with what works for you and what works for your family. Like everything's not going to be... Cookie cutter, what works for everybody else. Aw, thank you very much. All these compliments are so nice. <laughs> so what else? Um, do you want to show everybody what we've been working on throughout this quarantine? And we can show everybody the dogs, too. Yeah, let's yeah. take this show on the road because okay, we're going on the road. I'm sweating now, so <laughs> <laughs> it's time to be on the move. We're going on the road. All right. All right, here we go. Oh. Go ahead, you take them over right there with said baby. All right, let's go see the dogs. Uh, The lovely fur babies have been interesting since the baby was born. Very, very, very overprotective. You gonna say hi, Moo? Hey, everybody, come here. (whistles) Come here. Hey, guys, come say hi to everybody. They haven't seen you in a while. Say hi. This This is is Missy. Missy. Our bulldog. This is Our Lily. Come here, Oliver. Lily, I can't see your head through the bars. And then this is Oliver. Yeah, he's the, the OG baby. Oh, yeah. Yes. See, so, yeah, so that's really... Everybody loves their baby. Right? Say hi. Hi. Oh, good job, Freya. That's so sweet. For a while, we had to work with her to make sure that she wasn't grabbing their jowls because the bulldogs, they just have... The jowls that hang, oh, and she doesn't understand job. her strength yet. But she's very gentle with them now, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, she's been great. Yeah, good job. All right, on the move. On the move, we're moving from our kitchen that is now full of baby stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So in one of the episodes, we show you Freya's nursery, and now... This is an update of her nursery. This is an update of her nursery. Right now we have a screen door that we put on so Ted, our cat, can't yeah. get in here in the middle of the night and try and sleep in the crib with the baby because that's not safe. Yeah. But that's another, like, really, like, cool thing that I found on Pinterest was definitely we got this door at Lowe's. It's literally, it's an indoor-outdoor screen. We painted it. We put a hook and eye. Yep. And it keeps the cat out. Bless you. Yeah, I think that was one of my favorite episodes was the transformation of this room. Yeah, this was our guest room that we had no idea what to do with it. It was the guest room that was awkwardly too big. 
And now we're, it's so funny. We're still doing things that are like, we're still buying curtains and stuff like that. Yeah, it's ever changing. But yeah. yeah. It's- Quarantine work so far has been painting and we had this and ugly, this we had this ugly blue bathroom. That, that is, is white and open. That's now white and much, much larger looking now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, it's it's a work in progress and, you know, we put a spin on ourselves. That's all. Hello. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Hello. All right. So, so far, let me flip you guys around here. Do you need a light? Yes, yeah, perfect. Oh, no. oh wow. We're better Don't looking like in the dark. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> That's so nice. Thank you so much. I feel like our style is rustic glam. It's like rustic glam. Some of it's a little contemporary. Do you want to just, we'll come back in here Yeah, for so now. again, so let's sit in the actual filming room because this is so funny. This is because I feel like. Because Ted has made this his room. Yes. Yeah, Ted. but this is where we filmed almost every episode. So it's funny that we don't really sit in here that often now. Yeah. It's been crazy with all of our family members, too. We had to get a second table. So now we have two tables that are put together that still have leaves that go in them for uh, holidays and stuff. Hopefully, people will be able to come over again at some point. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. And hello again, everybody who's joining now. Again, this is Freya Loren. For anybody who is just joining us, I'm Kristen. Hey. This is Freya, who's not paying attention because her kitty cat's over there. And you want to flip and introduce yeah. yourself? I'm Heather. And we're the Fizzinos. We're the Fizzinos, <laughs> and this is kind of a preview to Fridays with the Fizzinos. Yeah, so we... Do you want to turn? No? How you just want to headbutt me? Yeah. This is Freya. She's six months old. Yes. Yeah, once people are allowed back. Yeah, I hope everybody again is like, only good TV. Is everyone staying <laughs> safe? And just really being careful and just wash your hands and just be safe. Just be yeah. courteous of the people around you and everyone will be safe. Everything will be fine and we're going to get through this 110%. Oh, and yeah. let's see, uh, we've coped with COVID by keeping busy. I have yeah. really bad anxiety and... We've been cleaning this house like crazy, yeah. like bags and bags and bags of trash of random stuff that we Oh, we've had. donated a lot of clothes. That's one thing if you guys oh, yeah. want us to do spring cleaning early. That's Missy. If you want to do spring cleaning early. Thank you. She is cute, right? Her name's Freya Loren. She's six months. Oh, and we are in uh, New I know. York. Sorry. I, she just did that. I'm so embarrassed, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, stay safe to you, too. And we're, we're in New York right now, which I guess they're considering the epicenter of COVID-19. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, and we've just other ways to cope, like we said before. If, like if you're just joining us now, we've been on Zoom and FaceTime and house party and just literally keeping busy and staying connected and staying with connected. family and friends the best that we can like i said it's what what did we say it's day 26 that we've been in the house now yes. at this point so yeah all right so back down back downstairs to the den yeah that's really all that we've done what's wrong you guys look so caged it's so funny we're so used to having dog gates everywhere and now it's turning into we have to get more baby gates because this one is going to be walking soon Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, let's see. Aw. I say thanks. Give kisses for you. Aw. She's super shy. I don't know whose kid she is because Heather and I are not shy at all. I feel like it's because we've been stuck in the house for so long. She hasn't been socialized that much. Yeah, She's like, no, I'm good with just my mom's things. Yes. Aw. <laughs> but, right. yes, I mean, that's... That's basically it so far. We've been living off home renovations and painting. And yeah, but how have you guys been doing? Like, what have you done other than that to be able to, like, cope? Because, you know, we're kind it's of... super isolating. Yeah, we're kind of running out. But I think one good thing here... You know what? I'm actually going to put her in her favorite toy because she's actually burning my arms at the moment. This <laughs> is her favorite toy, her skip and hop. Oh, uh, we actually we are thinking about having more babies soon. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we want to have more. I think probably already about three months ago, Kristen was like, okay, so I want one more. And I was like, here we go. She's not even four months yet, but okay. Oh, hi, Allie. Say hi to Aunt Allie. Say hello. Say hi. Everyone say thank you for joining us. <laughs> She's like, welcome. Welcome to my home. Yeah, she, literally, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so this is us. More babies, 100%. Yes. Like, absolutely. <laughs> she got so big so fast that I'm kind of like, okay, I'm sold. <laughs> Aw. Right? Isn't she so sweet here? Instead of looking at us, let's look at the cute baby. <laughs> because she's the best. But, yeah, she almost... She almost fits in this, but this is really her favorite, the skip and hop, it, you know, and it just allows her to like move around and it really, really helps us when we need to get ready and stuff like that. But yeah, that's really, let's wave to everybody. Oh, Freya, you're so sweet. And it's so funny that like, I sit here and watch, and you guys are watching her now, but this is what I do all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is what we do all day. But hello, Rachel, who just joined. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure if you've been here the whole time. She is six months. Everybody, this is Freya Loren. She's like, I'm on Instagram now. Yeah. You know? So one way that actually... Um, that you guys can follow all of us is um, just basically through Instagram or any social media platform. But Freya has her own Instagram now. It's at Freya Loren. <laughs> Heather's is at HLFaz. Yep. And then mine is at Chrissy. So we'll make sure that we put these, like, you know, somewhere either on Only Good TV's, um, like, uh, story page or something. But so you guys can see our handles. Yeah, and if you're just tuning in now and you've never seen us before and you have no idea who we are, you can check out our entire full story on Only Good TV. Uh, we are the creation of us season two. Are you having fun right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is literally her favorite toy. Yeah, you can literally see our entire story from beginning to still beginning because this is nowhere near the end. Yeah, absolutely not. And yes, you know, we, we will post on YouTube again, but we really just felt that Only Good TV was just like such a great fit, fit for us to capture like our entire journey at the time. And we fell in love with them ever since, so... This is really where we've been. Yeah, make sure to check out um, Only Good TV's Facebook page as well. I'm trying to think, what what, what else can we talk well, about? <laughs> oh my, that's so great. Hi, Jenna, thanks. It's so nice to know that like you guys have been following us for so long. It's yeah. really cool. Oh my God, baby cam, we can watch her all day. That's so funny. Literally, when I tell you, we have cameras all over the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I feel like you know, that's kind the, of how it is. The, the moments that our cameras have captured from probably us trying to change her really quick and picking her up and her peeing on us and it's all on camera her yeah. her i don't even know what else um us live streaming her at night her baby cam on our tv yeah. so we can sleep so we can see her yeah it really it is it's just hi everybody who's just joined again i'm Kristen. this is heather this is baby freya loren we're the fazinos this is the very first <laughs> fridays, fridays with fazinos oh i like that <laughs> hi danielle how are you yeah, really, it's, it was really, like, a really fun experience to, to film with Only Good. They're such an amazing company, and, like, it just brings heart heartwarming content. Exactly, it's, especially right now, because stuff kind of sucks right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. It can be extremely, extremely isolating with all the quarantining that's going on and the social distancing. Yeah. And, yeah, like I said, we're on day 26 here. I'm just lucky that I'm able to be quarantined with you. I know, yeah. I, w I actually, like, think that that would be, like, really, really sad. And everybody who was asking about our handles right now, thank you, Oshila. Those are our handles right there. Thank you for doing that. Um, like I said, this is at HL Faz. I'm at Chrissy. And the baby is at Freya Loren. So, because, <laughs> you know. Oh, my God. Yeah, Q oh, Theta. Oh, my God. That makes me so happy. <laughs> QU alumni. That makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, let's see. We are now at the stage where literally everything is in this baby's mouth. Yes. Everything is a chew toy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Did you see her? She's literally bending the rail on this. Hulk, Hulk. what are you doing? Don't you want your apple pop? <laughs> Don't you want it? <laughs> oh, that's another thing that how we've been managing to keep the time is all we do is puree baby food. We don't have any like food that's been bought from the grocery store, like not one jar. Nope. We buy all like all organic fruits and vegetables. I think all I do is peel sweet potatoes all day long. That's it. Yeah, her favorite are sweet potatoes. But yeah, that's really, you know, another. That's really what we've been. Yep. <laughs> so. Oh, Heather, I'm with you on the messy bun. Oh my God. Yes. This is the first time I've done my hair in a week and a half <laughs> i'm like i'm like what are you trying to prove <laughs> no what are you, but you trying can pull to prove that it's off. just us 
No, but you can pull that off. Let's see. So, Miss Frey has definitely started teething. Oh, yeah. This the poor drooling, thing. The, oh, this I, I absolute so poor thing. So, yeah. So, what we've been doing is we've been making her, you know, every kind of fruit pop that you could think of, you know, and putting it in these. So, that's a frozen apple pop right now. So, you know, she's getting food as well as it's, you know, kind of helping her. Her mouth, right? Say hello to everyone, pretty girl. Oh, someone on there just asked, what's the hardest part about being a new mom? Um, I think the uncertainty of if you're making the right decision. Oh, yeah, definitely. With anything. I feel like the hardest part is <laughs> things happen, and I'm like, is this something we should call the doctor about, or is this something we can handle on our own? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely something. And, like, you know what? Like we said, for all new parents, you just really have to trust your instincts and go with it you know yeah nap when the baby naps i love how everybody always says that to us and like a lot of times we really did not do that at all no i can't do that i have to do laundry and everything there was a while that we went through that she was not sleeping and we were not sleeping and oh my god yeah. i I've, I've never felt such like where, where you're actually dizzy yeah that's how tired you are yeah. so that's where like oshila is just asking like what we do for self-care as a parent i peloton like that's like my thing as long as I can like I know she's asleep or I know she's with Heather that is what I do I need, I need to, to work out that would be great no but that's one thing that I do to work out Heather I feel like you do art yeah I, I've, I mean? I've been I've been able to be working from home I'm an artist full-time so that's kind of what I've been doing besides doing lovely landscaping projects outside that yeah. Kristen's not very happy about but <laughs> You know why? Because I'm just like a perfectionist. So I'm like, you got it, baby. You're going to do it. I just won't look at it until it's done. But, but you yeah, know, that's the thing, though. We really do. We try to enc <laughs> we try to encourage each other. That's the biggest part where, you know, even if you're in a, a same-sex couple or a regular heterosexual couple, you need to be team players for each other. Even yep. if you're a guy and, you know, you're – sorry, there's such a glare. Even if you're the guy and you're like, wow, how do I even help my wife when she's nursing? You just pick the baby up from sleeping position and you give her to said nursing mother. That is such a help in itself. Yeah. So even for us for a while, she wouldn't latch or nurse unless I handed Kristen the baby, which made it very difficult for us to be apart even in the house. Yeah. Um, let's see. So starting cereal soon. How much did you guys start with? Well, this moose. Yes, is a hungry hippo. She... She started, I think the first time we gave her cereal, we gave her oatmeal. <laughs> You're so uh, cute. I could do this all day and just stare at you. We gave her organic oatmeal cereal the first time, and we, I think she started with a quarter of a cup, actually. And really, most kids start with one tablespoon to two tablespoons, you know, per meal of, um... Of, of cereal, and like we said, this moose yeah. was like, yeah, I'll take a quarter of a cup, great. Yep. So we feed her four so times a solids day. Solids four times a day. Yep. Cereal. Which usually has about four and, ounces uh, or five ounces of solid food, sometimes six per yeah. meal. Heather. Four times a day. How do you feel about carrying? I don't ever see my life going that way. That was actually a conversation to. that we just had, like, maybe about a month or two ago. That, you know, the, we, we want to have more kids and, you know, I want the next one to possibly biologically be half mine. Of course. Uh, with, so. you know, the sperm donor. And um, it, it, it would most definitely be Kristen uh, carrying it. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. I never, I never really pictured myself being pregnant, nor did I really see my life Aww. going that way. But this little nugget is so cute. I don't cute. think I would be comfortable doing that. And you know, and that's okay. You and have to do what's comfortable with your I body. I think Kristen carrying Freya is the greatest <laughs> gift she could have ever given our family. It's extremely selfless. Aww. Like, it, it was absolutely amazing. It was literally the greatest gift. I just, I don't this know if thing? I can handle it. Yes, that little thing. This little thing who loves to play. <laughs> Yeah, the baby calls Kristen. Well, now now she's getting to into the you know mama, baba, da da, where that's what she says constantly. I'm Nini. Yes, Heather I don't is know Nini. Why I am? She calls me Nini. Yeah, she calls you Nini. Turned into Nene a little bit now too. <laughs> yeah, so Mama and Nini Nene. Yes. And Freya Loren. So who are the Fazinos? Everyone <laughs> needs to tune in on Fridays. Let's see. Regardless, you are a rock star parent and you don't need to carry to be as awesome. That's Thank super, you very super much. sweet. Thank you. And I'm you, like, I'm trying the best that I possibly can. Yeah, and you're doing, you are doing such a great job. She loves you so much. 
Oh, I love her. I knew, obviously I knew that I would be attached to her regardless when she was born, but the like as to how attached I am is absolutely a hundred million times more than I even thought that I could have been attached to her. There's like this is my kid, you know. Yes. Yeah, and that was also one cool episode that we got to do is Freya was actually adopted by Heather and our just kind of like preparation that went through that is another like really cool episode to take a look at. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and right, and you and Mama Nini had a very, very special day, right? Your adoption day was another important day of like, you know, just our journey in general. But yeah, that, that was like one of the best days. I had such a good time. It was great. It, it was. was really cool. I mean, it's crazy, even though that we're legally married, I still had to adopt the baby. But you know what? Let's dot all the I's, cross all the T's, get it done, and we are a legitimate family yeah. on paper and in real life now. <laughs> so after that episode aired, we really, it was just a waiting game, to be totally honest, right? Yeah. It was all paperwork that had to be filed. You know, we had a social worker come to the house, take a look at our house, our income, I mean, I, everything. They some really things that like I felt like, in. I yeah. feel like some things were a little um, intrusive. But I mean, you're adopting a baby. Like, yeah. so you know, that's they really want to make sure you're not some psycho. Yeah. But yeah, so that was, that was really it. That was our journey. You know, we just, we want to thank you guys for joining in, everyone who did. Um, this is the first, yeah. you know, <laughs> Friday at the Fizzinos, and we love you all. And we hope you guys, you know, take a look. If you haven't watched, if you're new, if you've just met us, if you've seen it a hundred times, go watch it again. But we <laughs> are the Fizzinos. And, uh, oh, wait, hold on one more question. For us Italians, baptism in... Oh. Yeah, that's an Okay, issue. so, no. And we, only, and we love you too. Hi. Um, no, only because of, like, personal reasons. We're, we're not as religious as, like, the rest of our family. And that's just really, you know, we, we don't see it going that way. So we just want to keep you know, Freya is more of a spiritual person than so much a religious person. And then when she is old enough, if she decides to be with the church um, as a Catholic, if she decides, you know, to follow Judaism, Buddhism, anything, uh, you know, we don't care as, if, as long as she feels whole. Um, that's really all we care about. But that's just not, you know, one thing that we really ever th- plant yeah, on doing. I mean, you know what? Because we couldn't get married in the church, so, and both of us being raised as Catholics, it hurt us. So I think that's kind of why we pulled away a little yeah. bit. But also, I, I, I do think it's difficult for, you know, some same-sex families if you want to, you know, baptize some churches. They won't put both parents on the baptism certificate that's yeah, what I've so learned that kind of so that kind of hurt a little bit so that's oh, why we thank you of... Shayla about my hair <laughs> but yeah so we hope everybody is staying safe oh, oh meltdown. meltdown it's 5 30 oh see oh, we're sleepy already. we're sleepy already you can't go to sleep now no. you won't sleep you're gonna wake up at 3 a.m <laughs> oh all right Freya so say goodbye to everyone say thank you for joining us again on the first segment And we will be doing this every Friday at 5. We'll be taking over the Instagram page of Only Good TV. And again, I hope you guys, if you watched, (laughs) if you watched, you know, the episodes, share them. You know, follow Only Good TV on all of their social media platforms. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. Hi, baby. And thanks again for being here. We love you yep. all, and we hope again you stay safe and your family stay safe. And yeah, seriously. Stay home. Yeah, just for a little bit. We're all going to get through this, but we'll yeah. see you next Friday. We love you all so much. Love you guys. Say bye. Say bye. She's like, what is that? Yeah, good girl. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>